Hello and welcome back to another episode of Saving Your Disaster campaign. My name is Iken and today we're continuing the It's Already Lost campaign. What is someone about to do if you only have a day left up on the Doom Clock and there's really nothing that uh, one could have done? Well, we bought ourselves some time and we're still trying to salvage that campaign the last time. We left off with a nice little supply run and today we're going to start with kind of assessing where we are before uh, playing a bit on the geoscape so we got three majors there was another soldier that popped up on the geoscape we also got a facility lead now which is incredibly important it helps us out uh, spark uh, gets some promotions and once our sharpshooter is back i think we got a well-rounded team uh, that i could level up on top of it we have the beam cannon and uh, some more other weapon research that is coming in we're a bit short on supplies but and uh, maybe we need to sell some of the alarium but i would actually like to keep it for now because we need that from uh, for the weapon upgrades so how about we're doing the supply uh, finishing the supplies here and then we're going to go for the soldier. Sounds like a decent plan. Oh, at the same time, you've missed it. I finished the uh, ambush and our current covert ops mission is reducing the avatar progress. Another two blips will go a long, long way. Good. So we have the upgrade for spark weapons and heavy cannons on top of it a breakthrough for even more heavy cannons facility lead requires more intel so we will do that soonish as well but first let's get that breakthrough going so that the spark is even stronger and so is the grenadier powerful powerful breakthrough got ourselves a bit of supplies I like what I'm seeing. Maybe we can even improve Hello, our weapons. So weapon build up. I like the spark uh, one. That would be fantastic. Can't get the beam cannon in yet. That'll be too expensive. But I will take the spark one, you know. That increases their ability to further shred targets and deals more damage so that's good also we gotta save the alarium and uh, the alloys for now so can't really do anything supplies would be good soldier is even better because that'll be a major and i want to build up the roster for this guy so that he has enough soldiers to go around eventually losing a soldier here and there i've uh, seen that he had that he was struggling quite a bit on some of the missions so we got an engineer and that is a mission reward uh, it's not really helpful for us retaliation counter that's not too bad supplies could actually be useful in our specific situation this is definitely going to be a chosen in here so we would need to fight against the hunter and we got a, a scientist Chosen always attempt to capture soldiers. I don't want to play a protect the device mission. It's not going to happen. This one here. I don't know if I am so opposed to the retaliation mission. The faster it happens, the better. But then again, what do we want to do with an engineer? We have plenty of them. And 300 supplies are actually helpful. So let's go and take the supplies. We can then finish our soldier afterwards. And eventually we will also need to get some more intel. Let me um, fit out our team. Good, so this is what I came up with the last time. I missed some of the equipment, won't happen again. We're going to take Warden with us because she's the one with Bladestorm. And a Templar with Bladestorm typically is better. We got a, uh, the Savage uh, side trap, meaning there are a couple of uh, beast-like opponents, which typically indicates that you're going to have melee opponents. Uh, we needed to take another Ranger this time. Uh, Crash is going to be with us. Unfortunately, I think she is still missing. She's still missing Bladestorm. 
I think with her abilities, don't have enough points at the moment. No, not enough points to get Bladestorm. She has Implaceable, but not Bladestorm is what I meant to say. Deep Six will be our Grenadier. And as you can see, I really have, uh, so, so to speak, standard configuration. The typical four plus a Templar and the Spark. Uh, the Spark has to upgrade a weapon, so naturally we're going to take them with us. The others are just a fantastic core team and the Templar rounds that out quite well. So let's jump into it and give that Chosen a nice little beating. Okay, we landed. Let's take a look. Got it. Killed the field commander. Most of you will potentially already know that, but if you want to kill a field commander, that the timer only starts as soon as you are being spotted out, which is why we're doing everything in our power to not be spotted out. Shouldn't have moved the Mimic Beacon first. That was a pretty risky move. For now, let's position ourselves here. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. That could have been an incredibly risky play. Anyways, at the same time, we won't be able to pass, uh, to get past them. So might as well use the power of Bladestorm in order to teach them a lesson. Interestingly enough, we get a plus one uh, focus, which kind of is precursoring what's going to happen. Yeah, that was plus one focus, and now they realize, oh, the temper is there, and there is the blade storm. Almost kills it. And yet again, almost kills it. <laughs> okay, that was fun. Nah, I think that would be too exposed. I do not like that. I'm trying to feed the sniper a few kills here. Lightning hands, for starters. Well, that's unfortunately only a 80% chance. You can't handle me. Confident Sniper says you can't handle me. Well, so far she she was right. Good, we're putting a nice little defensive formation in. And now the Chosen will eventually... Are you kidding me? He spawns like right in front of us? Oh my god, that is going to hurt for him. Okay, what are we dealing with? Uh, chance to return fire on missed shots, that's bad. I think Overwatch is excluded. Kinetic platings, oh boy. Well, that is... That's a nasty combination. And low profile, that is... <laughs> that's a really nasty combination. Uh, Savage allies on top of it. Um, yeah, shell shock and hate skirmishers. Wow, that's a... That is a nasty combination. I feel for you, buddy. But as you can see, we're already seeing that that guy will take half... Of his hit points in damage. Get me out of here, please! We put our soldiers through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. All right, there we go. There we go. There we go. Slow 
And Guardian triggers for even more shots. Alright, theoretically you are supposed to see a couple of overwatch shots now, I suppose. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not gonna make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. The most dangerous. Oh boy, she's not going to let uh, let him go easy. The two of them are starting to fight one another. Holy shit. All right, overdrive is the natural response here. Since it's not a 100% uh, hit, how about we're making sure that it is really a 100% hit. The way that we're going to go about that is nice little grenade. There we go. Shell shocked on top of it. He hates grenades. And whenever the chosen hates something, we are loving that very thing. Time to teach him a lesson. And just out of curiosity, can we kill him? No, that's not a hundred percent chance. And whenever it's not a hundred percent chance, we're not going to do it. Well, that was an untimely and really quick death, to be honest. He spawned, he came, saw, and lost. Veni Vidi, um, my Latin is a bit off. It wouldn't be Veni Vidi, Viki, it would be... Alright, it would be Veni Vidi Amissi, of course. Should have known that. Anyways, good. Back to the game. We still got six more rounds and we already know that the guy is going to be transported to there. I think it's a good moment to use Conceal. I'm on the move. Moving up just to see if there are more enemies and indeed there are. This should not trigger. Reblin over there. That on the other side triggers. Not trigger. Uh, of course, doesn't trigger. Um, but we could position ourselves in a nice spot where we would have an Overwatch for them. Problem is, we can't move and go fully on Overwatch, and we certainly can't move and not trigger. So, only here. Moves up, this does not trigger, and we're just going to reload. Spark reloads because you we're often forgetting about uh, the reload. And for now, we're just overwatching. Look at that. Got some hostiles on the over here. All right, time for us to pull out the nasty stuff. Deep six moves into the open because there's nothing that cover will do for him anyways. Get ready for a surprise. Opening these uh, three up. With a nice little explosion. Fantastic. That worked out well. Oh boy, that's not even a 100% uh, kill. We gotta upgrade uh, her pistol, that's 
for sure. Spark moves up. And that chrysalid is almost dead. Let's shadow fall. That way we do have concealment on our... That way we do have concealment on her. Rolling. Again, moving up. Improved stock really helps in this uh, kind of scenario. I strike for my people. This here should fill her up completely. Yep. There we go. Full focus. And since we do have 100% blade storm hit chance. She can simply move up. At the same time, I would like to go over here. Alright, that is strange. I figured the entire pack would be there. Of course, you can never be sure, so that pull was unnecessary. Luckily, the, what the AI is doing is it's mostly just moving away, and that's pretty much about it. So we have killed three here, two here. Wait a second. So we killed three chrysalids plus two, that's five. That's seven with these guys, so there should be no one else left. First of all, let's move over. Oh, we did, did not have Shadow Step. Oh, my bad. Okay. Alright, good. We're in a fantastic position right there. Good. This is going to be a bit of an aggressive play this time. It's okay to be spotted out because what we really wanted to do is frostbite to make sure that we're not having any retaliation. Fantastic. Frozen and in the open. Nice little positioning. Can start to move in here. up good and now what we wanted to do is we actually wanted to punish this guy here nice little hit hunter's instinct just so much damage team working into another one won't potentially be enough to fully kill him even with two crits but that's okay and with with a second crit it would have been Actually, a kill. My strike surges forth. Good. Keep in mind, we still have Blade Storm, and all we need to do is move to here. There's the blade storm, and that should be a kill. Let us want 
five kill confirmed. That's how it's done. We need to clear the area of any remaining hostiles. We can't allow them to recover the general's body. All right, let's make sure that we could kill this guy here. Who's keeping score? Good. Fast one. Flaws mission. Kill the general and hopefully we'll get a promotion on the sniper. Good. We're we back in action and we got zero promotions. Uh, disappointing. A couple of supplies. We countered resistance informant. So no ca um, so no reduction of the next retaliation mission timer and overall I think it's fine one thing that I was wondering is this ranger here is badly badly misskilled thankfully we got enough points now to put it into blade storm with serial well, they even have a fantastic option. Serial and implacable can be a cleanup with the shotgun itself, so should save for serial. Blade Master, of course, is a necessary topic as well if you want to use Blade Storm. Alright, more supplies which we may take in a second but we also need more intel for the facility lead and that is a higher priority at this point all right an engineer is wounded let's just double check where that engineer was located he was located in here to prevent these attacks before they catch up with us let's free up another engineer And we got a Colonel Sharpshooter. Holy smokes, Jessica Jones just joined the team. Well, see, that is why I mentioned you would want to take that. We got another Colonel right there. So I will continue leveling your uh, Sharpshooter here because having more than one Sharpshooter is the way to go. But boy, oh boy, that was a good find. You need DPS classes in the end game, and she is the right one, I can tell you as much. She got an above average intelligence on top of it, so what you want to do is you want to get long watch, you want to get lightning hands, you want to get quick draw, you want to get face off, you want to get steady hands, and you want to get fanfire. She still has points left over, and we're going to go and skill those because she's going to be an asset to that guy auto targeting isn't bad but not perfect uh, chain shot on the other hand is pretty strong on a sniper because you can shoot twice onto a target doesn't trigger serial i would not skill into serial for now i would however definitely skill into death from above because that is a fantastic ability just like uh, quick draw all time mix in deep cover, not so much. Hold targeting isn't bad. In terms of other options, I think we're going to go for Dead Eye because that in itself can be a kill, triggers death from above, and you want to have the chosen rifle if possible. Serial, of course, isn't bad either. And given that it only costs 15 ability points, I am tempted to even skill it. Because here's the reason. He will take it over without the chosen rifle, most likely. And Serial is definitely one of those abilities that you would like to have. So we're going to go into Serial. I would go Dead Eye next if you have some extra AP to spare. But uh, Serial is still fine. Specifically, if you're not on high ground, Serial is, an, is a fantastic option. We got some supplies here. We can also go for Intel, and I suppose we're going for Intel for now. 
just because we need 50 intel for the facility lead. Supplies can be fine, 270. Let me spend our supplies because if you're low on supplies, there is a higher chance that we will get even more. And what we want is an upgrade for a weapon. I think we're going to take that one because the pistol was just horribly bad. And... Just gaining those pistols overall is not a bad thing. The auto pistol isn't fantastic, but it's okay. Getting those small upgrades can accumulate. We certainly don't have the means yet to go for a plasma rifle or for a beam cannon. Both of those would, of course, be still a bit better. But the sniper in a good build will use its offhand quite a bit. And they are the supposed damage dealer. So we're going to start there first. Avatar project just reduced by two and that is fantastic that's exactly what we wanted to see now we could recruit another reaper kernel which is great i love it we could also get better shotguns which is fantastic i love that as well and we could get another facility lead which is yet again fantastic i think we're going to be a bit greedy and go for the shotguns and then recruit the reaper but let's just double check how long do we have until... Uh, we can't do both. So I can... Are you going to let the guy get the shotgun upgrade or does he need reapers more? He needs... He needs kernels. Lots and lots of them. So recruit reapers it is. There you go. Faction soldier. I'm trying everything in my power to uh, give him... The best roster that he theoretically could get. Alright, moving on. And there is the flamethrower. That was our weapon research. Not exactly what I was hoping for. Let's give it another experimental heavy weapon. Alright, minor breakthrough is kind of pushing back on our advances here. Great, this here would give us quite a bit of intel. Only six days in order to do that. The other alternative is 11 days for that. Or powered armor wouldn't be bad for him as well. Of course, shotguns would be fantastic as, as an option. Six days. We need intel and lots of it. So let's go for that real quick. Hate to do it. Good. So what else would we need? He has the defense matrix. What can we what can we build? A Psy Lab would be definitely helpful. And potentially another power relay because we need power. So let's start with that. We're still low on supplies. Priority message coming through, Commander. Good. Putting it on screen now. Got 250 additional supplies. Chosen uh, the assassin now is planeswalker. That is a nasty little uh, uh, nasty little ability. None of them are invading you yet. That's good. This one here stings, this one here stings, but he's not playing with permanent dark events, so it's really not that bad. We're okay on the orders. 
And let's investigate to get some more supplies because that would be enough to get the beam weapon, uh, heavy beam weapon upgrade at least. Good, we got also enough intel to go for the facility lead, which is what I wanted to do next. Let's see what we can earn with selling inventory. Oh yeah, shield bearer corpses, archon corpses, hell yeah. And nanoscale with this, definitely. Matter of fact, all of them can go for now. Good. We got quite a few supplies, which is fantastic. And that again, in return, means we can build items. As weapons, I think we're going to upgrade the plasma rifles first. Beam cannons wouldn't be a bad option as well, but yeah, let's start with the plasma rifles. Beam cannon, uh, cannons will come next, but we're missing a bit of valerium for that. Alright, continuing our efforts here to gain some more intel, because supplies for 8 days are a bit too much. 144 intel is great. And now, let's bite the bullet and go for powered armor, because you really will need that. You can thank me later. We, we don't have uh, the money to upgrade all of the other weapons yet anyways. And we could go for a facility lead. Let's go for the facility lead first, because if my memory serves me well, I had you'd make that we do priority. not have a direct so connection to any of the other facilities. And I mentioned that I wanted to give him as many chances as possible. So in the new Arctic, that would be a fantastic facility if we could get a lead on it. The other one is over here. And so yeah, no chance for him to make contact uh, soon which means we want the facility lead let's make contact with north america get that extra bonus for for the double agent and continue to stabilize the campaign further perfect so that was west africa not the perfect uh, choice but still okay and we're going for powered armor which will now help uh, to increase the survivability. That way you don't need to run around with the nano vests, buddy. You don't want them. Good. So tactical analysis is super strong. If possible, I would like to get that for you as well. Tactical anal analysis is one of the strongest uh, continent bony. Period. Our soldiers took some hits during the Got a major over here. Not a colonel, but a major, and that is still fantastic. So what else do we have? We have reduce avatar uh, progress, which is potentially what we're going to do. Breakthrough. Um, I think we're going to go for avatar progress first, and then we'll take a look from there. Uh, soldier 4 plus 5 will. You can take any anyone. Good. And that'll take 10 days. Fantastic. We got another Reaper right here. Another Major. And let's upgrade them. Remote start is a necessary option. You want Shrapnel for the extra damage. You want Silent Killer to continue uh, uh, being in stealth. You want Sting. You want Vanish because it's such a great ability. You want Highlander for an additional uh, for an additional Claymore. Needle is good for that uh, armor penetration. Soul Harvest isn't bad because you will benefit a lot from uh, from additional crit chance. That eye, on the other hand, isn't bad either, because if you kill someone with dead eye, 
typically um, you will have enough aim to hit targets and with dead eye that should be fine so that's a decent reaper all of the necessary abilities there and then dead eye on top of it so that's good Yeah, weapon mods, okay, fair enough. And there is the next retaliation, which we're going to fight in our next mission. Gotta stop that retaliation and eventually do it uh, as well as to get even additional uh, funds. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to expand so that we'll get more supplies. Uh, with more regions, you also will get more supplies, and with more supplies, we get all of the upgrades. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, that is it for today. Thank you for watching, guys. I appreciate your viewership. If you enjoyed the Saving Your Disaster campaign so far, leave a comment and a like below. That helps the channel, and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.